Hello and welcome and sorry for the iPhone video but this is the best way to do it as running ScreenFlow would be it would tax the um, CPU and I want to get the maximum frame rate the maximum performance out of this new model that I can so as you know we're a website about Final Cut and this is Final Cut 4.7 10.4.7 and we have got a really interesting sequence here and let me go in close to show you and also get it in focus that is 8k so that's 8192 by 4320 and we're also running 59.94p and it's also HDR and we're just going to prove that by having taking a look at this. Let's hit the modify on there. You can see if we go in, that's the sequence setting. Now that matches what we have um, as the original media. Just let me go and open this up, say OK. And down here we have a couple of clips. Again, I'll show you these close up in focus if I can. And as you can see, they're pretty beefy. They are the same size, same resolution, same frame rate. And they are actually ProRes RAW clips. So we're actually doing a bit of HDR here. So we've got the two clips on the timeline. Get that back in focus. Now, will it play? Well, one way to find out. Skimming's pretty good, as you can see. But when I hit play, it's actually playing. So that is playing 60 frames a second, 8K, ProRes RAW, HDR back, on a timeline in Final Cut Pro 10. Quite amazing, quite amazing performance. Let's get back to the original shot, I've got it on loop play. Now this is unrendered as well. I could go through the process of showing you and clearing all the cache, etc. but just take my word, there's no dots on the timeline. This is actually unrendered and playing back. So let's get a bit bigger on here. So why don't we lose the browser? There we go, we can see that a bit bigger. And also we can probably go full frame as well on here. Amazing quality. I think it's about 44% on the browser size wise in 10. That just shows how many pixels there are on this screen. But what I'll do, let me hit the escape key. Obviously, we've got the new escape key on the MacBook Pro. To play, it does need to be in better performance. Let me go into there. If I put it onto better quality, it starts to stutter. So it needs to be on better performance. And in focus, obviously. Well, I've only had this machine for a few hours, so I decided to give it a really good test. And thank you to Lee, um, Lee Herbert, who let me have this footage on a memory stick. He didn't know where I was going or what I was gonna do with it. So he's probably thinking, oh, I, under I understand now. But I wanted to really try and test it. So this is 8K ProRes RAW, 60 frames per second, HDR, playing back, unrendered on a Final Cut Pro timeline. Pretty amazing. And that's it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.